Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mac here from Easy HHY or Easy Customs. And today I have a new video describing the next RGH method or the next exploitation method of the Xbox One or possibly the Xbox One Slim, which is 40% smaller. And it could be an advantage to the modders or the exploiters that are looking to modify the Xbox One or the Xbox One itself. And before we get into that, I would just like to give a shout out to my boy Gare Bear, aka Silent Storm, aka my uh, gameplay uh, host, I would like to say. <laughs> um, his link will be in the description and go check him out. He does some pretty cool videos and yeah. So, sort of turning back, we have gone through great methods, um, JTAG, RJTAG, RGH1, RGH2, and then RGH1.2, which really follows up on new, um, new glitching methods and new ways and new alternative points for RGHs that we have never even seen before. 15423, which I think, I, I can never get his name correct, 15423, which a lot of you guys do not know had brought or brought in the RGH 1.2 and he had basically unleashed a whole new level because not only that he, he showed us alternative points um, and if you don't know what I mean I mean the motherboard on the uh, Xbox 360 he had showed us different alternative points that we can use instead of the standard points Team Executor has gave us now, I don't really want to slander um, Team Executor that much, but they had built a foundation, we built up on it, Team Executor became a little bit greedy with their new CR4 Pro, or their CR, yeah, the CR4 XL, and it really just kind of took them towards a downfall, which I kind of saw it coming. Anyway, moving on. 15423 has brought these great methods that have basically made us expand. But now kind of going on, now that we have this extra foundation, what will there be with the um, Xbox One? Well, the Xbox One itself hasn't been modded yet, and I don't think it will be for a couple of years, maybe. It could happen tomorrow, for Christ's sake. But we haven't modified it yet. But we have got a SDK, and I know that um, Microsoft is releasing um, developer kits, or developer, um, how should I say, basically if you were to go to developer settings, you could type in a, um, a code or a name to the Xbox that would simply give you the ability to simply get a developer, developer mode or developer option which this was then released, if you did something wrong, it would basically screw up your Xbox. But, moving forward, um, this could be a new um, error for the Xbox One modding scene. Since we really haven't made too much progress with the Xbox One modding, um, the Xbox One Slim should be a standpoint where we should really get serious about modding it because now Microsoft has pushed out another Xbox. Now that this has appeared, it's slimmer and there and there's gotta be a more easier way to do something like this. Now I'm not an expert, but if I'm not mistaken, it's slimmer, so that means that it's more compact. There's not as much I would say stuff to really fiddle with. Maybe they really compacted the resistors and the GPU and stuff really tightly. With the Xbox One, I've, I've, I've opened up an Xbox One. I've seen what it looks like. It looks like, holy crap. There's too much crap in it, to be honest. But if the Xbox One Slim were to be slimmer, that could be a possibility. Since we won't really be fiddling with too much, we will understand the board a lot more. Because it's smaller, and I mean, look at the Xbox 360 Slim, it's smaller. Look at the fat, 
I know what you're saying, the, the fat Xbox, the old ones, they're pretty big, but again, you know, they were, it was not the highest grade technology that they put into it, but again, you know, we do have, whatever, anyway, moving on, so the Xbox One's gonna be slimmer, and this could be, again, like I'm saying, this could be something to an advantage to the modders, so, could it be an RGH 3, or could it be something else? I don't think we can call it an, uh, an RGH 3, because the reason why they call it an RGH is because they notice that if you were to set um, glitch pulses, that's why they call it a glitch, if you send glitch, glitch pulses to the points that you would decide on to, or whatever, you would get a response where you would glitch the console and it would run the exploit or the ECC image. Now with this being said, could the Xbox One do the same? Well, it could or could not. So we might not get an RGH 3.0, but again, as they were saying back then, they thought that they would never see an RGH 2. They would say, oh, we're probably just going to be getting an RGH 1, and then that's it. So, and then boom, we got an RGH 2. Could there be an RGH 3.0? Possibly, maybe not. It might be caught. It might be something different. They might, you know, not even use a glitch chip. It might be some other board that will run a different NAND, and then it will load it, and then something, something like that. That is possible. Simply running a different NAND. If you guys don't know what a NAND is. It is an uh, it's an operating system basically, and with the RGH one, two, one point two, whatever it is, we were able to send glitch pulses, and it would load a modified NAND. But let's say we were able to decrypt the Xbox One Slim's NAND, and then we were able to rewrite the code. Again, that takes lots of work because the Xbox One's NAND was about 5 gigabytes, so decrypting all of that, that's a pain. And that's why, you know, that's why we have glitches, so we don't have to decrypt the whole NAND. We just gotta get different sectors of it, and then it can run the modified uh, image. So possibly, there might be an RGH 3. No one has really confirmed it. I don't think anyone will confirm it until we actually get the Xbox One slim. So, that's about it. Hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. If you guys did, comment what you guys thought about it. Like if you like the content. And, um, subscribe if you want more. So, that's basically it. I hope you guys are having a good night. I'm going to be uploading a proof video tomorrow. And, um, peace out.